guys welcome back to my channel so in this video you will be seeing my 21 books which i want to read in the year of 2021 so without further ado let's begin so as i have 21 books to read and kind of want to finish in this year i'm going to be going super quick because it's going to be a really long video if i'm going to be explaining each book and also, um, I have added some books which I wanted to read in the year of 2020, but I couldn't. So the first book belongs to that category because I wanted to read this before 2020 ends, but I couldn't. And after seeing the trailer of this book, I was really, really you know, taken back and I was feeling very bad for not reading this before. Because if I get to see the movie first, then I would regret it because I always like to read the book before watching the movie. So that is The White Tiger by Arvind Adiga. So this book has been uh, going around on the internet and on Bookstagram. And I really, really wanted to read this book last year, that is during the uh, last um, months like the November and the December but I couldn't make it and I have pushed this video to this year so that I could finish it. If you have seen the trailer I think I don't need to talk about the book or the blurb. It's a fantastic book. I am looking forward to reading this. The next book is my current read and I have been wanting to read this book ever since I got this book which is Girl, Women and Other. Girl, Women, Other. So this is the winner of Booker Prize of 2019. I think this book got the prize along with The Testaments by um, Margaret Atwood. So I'm really, really looking forward. And I think, I think The White Tiger got the Man Booker Prize of 2008. And this is the Booker Prize of 2019. So this is about 12 women whose lives are intertwined, and I'm so excited. I'm loving the first chapter which I've started to read. I hope I'll finish this book very soon and I will love it. The next book is one of the most popular titles which uh, many of the bookstagrammers read in the year of 2020 which is A Man Called O by Frederick Backman. So I've seen this book going rounds on bookstagram and um, booktubers love this book so i really want to read this book and i think it's a very small book but um, i think it's, it has a lot of things to convey already thinking of buying the anxious people by the author and uh, i really love the blurb of that book and uh, i just stopped myself and i told that i have to finish this book first and then go for that one because i've been buying a lot of books which I am yet to complete so I am looking forward and I'm quite quite excited and I've placed this book in this month's TBR so I hopefully want to um, finish the girl women other and I want to jump to this book very quickly the next book which I want to read in the year of 2021 is from one of my favorite authors who makes readers cry instantly when you pick his book who is Khaled Husseini. I want to read this book because I think I loved uh, The Kite Runner and uh, A Thousand Splendid Sons by the author and I don't have any other uh, you know, expectation from the author after reading those two books and uh, I want to pick this book in this year. Probably I would read this book in uh, May or June. I think so because I just want to give those books a gap and uh, I just want to fill my heart with those two books because those two books are very close to my heart. So this is a story of a sister and a brother I think who are separated. Yeah, it's going to be a very heart-wrenching story again. So And the Mountains Echoed by Carl Husseini is my next pick. Finally, I have another Booker Prize book, the winner of 1997 Booker Prize, The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. So this is my first Arundhati Roy's book and I'm totally excited to read this because I've seen this reviewed by most famous people and I think this is a must read book. So I think this is a story about a family and uh, how their fate you know, moves very tragically. So I think it will be a very heart-wrenching story and I'm looking forward. Next book which I want to read is The 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafa. So, I have no idea about this book. Uh, when I got this book, I was totally excited actually to read this book. Um, when I got this book, I thought that this book is a um, love story, a romance book, but I ended up seeing reviews which talked about a lot about spirituality, a lot about life. So I was 
intrigued actually to kind of pick this book very soon but I kind of forgot that I had this book on my bookshelf. That happens to everybody who are a bookworm. So I'm very excited and this book I got it from a um, seller who sent me a pirated kind of a copy. I think it's a pirated copy but the pages look um, you know orderly so that's fine. So excited to read this very soon. Next is The Boy in Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. So when I got this book, I really wanted to pick this book as soon as possible. But um, keeping this in my bookshelf made me forget about this book completely. So when I was cleaning my bookshelf, I was like, okay, I have this book, so I have to pick it immediately. And I've read so many reviews about this book. This is a heart-wrenching story of two friends. and. Uh, I think this one happens in the World War II phase, so it's going to be a really, really uh, very emotional, poignant story. So I'm looking forward, I'm totally, uh, you know, scheduling my time, I would say, for reading all of these books. So let's see how it goes. So the next book is a classic and that is The Book Thief. That is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. So when I got this book, I was really, really... Um, you know, intrigued and I was flooded with so many reviews about this book and that's why I picked it. Um, as being, as this being a very thick book, I procrastinated in reading this book and putting this book in many of my TBRs and I ended up not reading this book in the year of 2020. So I really want to pick this book very soon because I've seen so many heart-wrenching reviews which I like to read. So the next book which I want to read which I'm very happy that I got is on the Come Up by Angie Thomas. So I read the book The Hate You Give by the author and I really loved it and I, that is one of my favorite books of 2020. And this book came in the Lock the Box uh, book by Book Chore. Love the book, Hate You Give so much and I really wanted to pick this book as soon as I finished it but I somehow forgot it. So when I saw this book in the sale, I didn't have a second thought and it's a new book. I'm very happy about it. So if you haven't seen the unboxing of Lock the Box, I put it on the iCard so that you can see it. And talking about this book, this is also a young adult um, book. So it's like the hate you give and um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I have this copy. So I'll be putting this very soon. I thought of actually adding this book to the February TBR but I have the girl women and other. The next book which I am so so excited to read and uh, which I was waiting to buy for a long time is The Family Tree by Cyrish Hussain. So this is a debut novel by the author and I've seen Instagram flooded with this book and I really like the cover and the color of the book so so excited. It's about um, a Muslim family, a British Muslim family where the husband loses his wife and he kind of uh, sacrifices for his two children so I think it will be a very poignant story a very very engaging story I've seen so many reviews so many reviews which didn't make me to you know kind of leave this book behind and I really wanted to pick this up as soon as possible so let's see how it goes so the next book which I want to read is the uh, this book, which is Eleanor Oliphant, is completely fine by Gail Honeyman. So, this book talks about a lot about mental health, I think, because that's what I have read about loneliness and the power of little kindness. So, I read the blurb and I really, really was so much interested in uh, the character Eleanor, and that's why I picked it. Let me just read a small paragraph from the blurb. Elinia Oliphant leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same deal meal, meal deal for lunch every day and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. Elinia Oliphant is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetable existence except sometimes everything. So there's a question mark. So I am very happy. There are two covers actually. One is a white one and one is a yellow one. I prefer the yellow one uh, because I like yellow. But I got this one. I got it from a second hand website based in Chennai. You'll be seeing the complete book haul of most of the books which are there in this video. 
very soon because I got them I think in the month of January and uh, last week of December so you'll be seeing them I really like this I got just 150 rupees I was eyeing for this book in many of the second hand websites but I couldn't see them for a good deal and when I got for a good deal I I didn't have a second third and a fifth third. The next book is a long list for the Booker Prize of 2020 which is Girl in White Cotton by Avni Doshi. Um, I don't remember the blurb right now but I really want to read this book mainly because it was long listed for the Booker Prize of 2020 and um, I've seen so many reviews about this book. I really like the cover of the book as well. It's about a mother and a daughter and their relationship I guess. So. I think it will be a very interesting, very poignant, very intriguing read as well. Let's see how it goes. And I've seen so many authors um, review about the book on the back of the cover. So let's see. So the next book which I want to read which is a non-fiction book is Ikigai. I have been putting this book uh, and pushing this book for many GBRs but I couldn't you know kind of pick this book I read this book um, as an audio book and I really liked it and that's why I picked the physical copy but I didn't find time to actually read this book because I was engaged with the other fictional books and I somehow uh, forgot non-fiction books in my bookshelf so I really want to read this book in the year of 2020 I want to schedule a particular time for this book and read it the next book is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell I had seen so many reviews which are mixed reviews many people didn't like the book but um, I somehow want to read this book I really like the cover of the book and um, I think when I saw this book for the very first time I read a very beautiful review and that's why I was so much um, you know into this book and I wanted this book very badly so I'll be reading this book in the year of 2021 and I will let you know my comments and my reviews on my Instagram page so if you're not following me on Instagram please follow there the next book is from one of my favorite authors and um, I have two books to be read by this author this year and um, one book is a definite and a must mandatory read which is the Five People You See in Heaven, You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. So I want to read the book Tuesdays with Maury. I have read that book like 2-3 years back. I have read half of the book and I don't really remember anything. So I want to read that book again in this year. I don't have a copy because my sister has that copy. So I cannot show that in this video. But um, I want to read this book as well as Tuesdays with, Ma uh, Tuesdays with Maury very soon. So the book The Five People You Meet in Heaven is a very interesting story because it is about the life after death. So it's about um, Eddie who loses his um, life on his 83rd birthday in a tragic accident trying to save a little girl from a falling cart. With his final birth breathe, he feels two small hands in his and then nothing. He awakens in the afterlife where he learns that heaven is not a lush garden of Eden but a place where your earthly life is explained to you by five people who were in it. These, these people may have been loved ones or distant strangers and each of them changed your path forever. So the blurb looks very 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 interesting. So if you are uh, wanting to read a very interesting book or if you want to know what happens after life and if you want to read such books then pick this book because I've seen so many reviews and I myself um, have heard half of the audiobook I think I don't remember and I really want to pick this book very soon the next book is a thriller book so in the year of 2021 I have made a reading goal to read a lot of thrillers and mysteries and one such book is The Silent Patient which have been a very famous book, a very popular uh, book on Instagram in the year of 2020. So this book is about Alicia who shoots his has, her husband Gabriel five times and never speaks another word. So I think that one sentence is enough for reading this book. The next book which I want to read is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Ariel Sands. So I kind of have a love for this book the cover I've read so many reviews and I was so much into this book when I bought this book I have talked about this book um, very much so if you have read this book and if you really li liked it or loved it please let me know in the comments below I'll be happy to read them 
The next book which I wanted to read in the year of 2020 itself was Norwegian Wood by Murakami. I wanted to read at least one Murakami in the year of 2020 but I couldn't and I have pushed this book to 2021 and um, this book also has a lot of mixed reviews. Many people didn't like it and many people said that Murakami is overrated but let me see, let me read and I'll let you know my honest reviews on my Instagram. I really like the cover of all of the Murakami's books. I don't know why, maybe of the color red, but I really, really love it. The next book is a very new pick and that is The Small Town Sea by Anis Salim. So one of my friends actually read this book on Instagram and uh, I really liked her review and that's why I picked it. So it's about a boy who's been sent to his father's home where he struggles to cope with his new life. So he reluctantly makes friends with Bilal, a boy who lives in the orphanage run by the local mosque. Together they embark a Calestine adventures while his ailing father, a writer who last, whose last wish is to die listening to the sea he has grown up by, rediscovers people from his childhood. But his father's death unsettles the boy's life again and he finds himself grappling with altogether unexpected challenges. So very intriguing and very nice blurb. So, Let's see how it goes. The next book is from one of my um, favorite authors, I would say, which is Colin Hoover. So this book is, it ends with us. It's a romance novel and um, with a very sad ending, I guess. I have no idea. I forgot what the book is about. I really love the cover, but so I am very, 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 very interested. I have seen another uh, book which is very popular by the author. So I really want to grab that very soon. So let's see how this book goes and I'll be posting my review on my Instagram and I really really want to put this book in the month of April or May and read it very soon. So the last book which I want to read in the year of 2021 is a very special book because um, I really like the works of Talat Husseini. So this author is my December 2020 uh, find I would say because I found her in the last uh, week of December and I really wanted to uh, you know experience her works so that is Nadia Hasmi so I've been trying to get her books which are mostly middle grade books that's what I heard and uh, I saw a lot of reviews which are really really matching to Khaled Hussini's work and uh, most of the books are also in Afghanistan so I totally totally admire her works I would say and I am totally excited to read this. This is The Pearl That It Broke. Sorry. The Pearl That Broke Its Shell. So I heard that this book belongs to the middle grade book but I don't care because I really really like the blurb so much so I, that's why I picked it. I have another book which is yet to come which is called Sparks Like Stars which is a new release by the author. So once I get that I will read that as well. So those are all the books which I want to read in the year of 2021. So if you have any of these books in your TBR, then I'm very, very happy. And I'll be meeting you all in my next one. Till then, take care. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye and take care.